Hi, my name is Athena Bretzberger, and some of you may know me as Astro Athens, and I have essentially been a science communicator and pursuing a modeling career throughout my 20s. As I'm approaching 30, I decided that I really want to go back to school. I probably don't advertise all the time is that I never actually finished my physics degree. Changed majors quite a few times along the road. It's been about a decade since I've been in school. It's going to be some difficult times, but also some really rewarding times. But the end goal here is to get that degree and have a graduation cap. But it's not just to have the cap or the degree. It's to start the next chapter of my life. So thank you for being here. Here's my journey to get to space. Hello, um, this is the first vlog, I guess, of doing um, my back to school uh, process. So I should have actually recorded the other day because I had um, some of my math books out. I'm basically um, decided it might be best that when, when starting and entering into the new subject um, of yeah, just all the advanced levels of math to actually kind of just start from the, from the foundation, from the basics. And so I'm starting from like, uh, kind of like square one, like introductory algebra, and then just like basically going through an accelerated rate with it. So going through it like each week, going through a new um, year of math, starting from, um, yeah, it's so like basically like intro algebra and then going into then uh, college algebra, pre-calculus and then calculus. And at the same time, um, I actually just got a new notebook. Um, I have one for math and one for astronomy. And um, I just started an astronomy course on Outlier. Now, although I already have uh, a ton of astronomy credits from university, I figured I would just kind of start again, um, just to, I don't know, just, just do it again. A lot of it is repeated information, which is good. Um, but this is just, yeah, the very start. So did that. And then um, something that I already started that would help is um, kind of like doing a plan for success agenda so basically setting two main goals what um and then stating like what my obstacles are and then coming up with a solution to fix them so what i have here with my highlighter something also really good tip for i guess studying or uh, really just note taking is having highlighters it's a big thing that i like um so goal one is mastering the content um, something that I think is really important and why I'm going back to school is because I want to master this stuff. I don't just want to kind of casually know it or understand it. I want to really become an expert in my field in this. The obstacle is when things get difficult, I tend to get stressed out and crash, resulting in procrastination um, or potentially terminating the class. Um, that's happened quite a few times where I've had to redo classes just because of, um, yeah, like, just getting like really stressed out about it and crashing or, or procrastinating. And my solution is to tend to my classes daily. So taking five minute breaks every 30 minutes, but I've blocked out specific time slots every day to focus specifically on the class of my focus at the time. So right now I'm doing one class at a time and then math I'm doing more of like, like on the side for myself, not enrolled in a class just yet for that. Um, Goal number two is meeting deadline. Uh, so this I, I usually don't necessarily have a problem with, um, but I do when it comes to having it be like my best potential. So like my my putting my best foot forward for putting things in on time. If I put things in on time um, in the past, sometimes it's not with the most uh, attention that I've given it, and that results in wrong answers. Um, so. Uh, meeting deadline, the obstacle is that I get distracted very easily, resulting in poor time management and failure to complete tasks. Um, so getting distracted easily, like, you know, being on the computer, is, it's tough. I'm doing online courses, and so I'm on the computer. I'm tempted to go into my emails, talk to clients, work on new things from, like, Astro Athens, all this other stuff. But I have to, like, really make sure I only have one tab open, and that's the astronomy class, which reminds me I have two tabs open, and I'm going to X out of this one. Um, let me just bookmark this. Um, okay, so my solution for this is to silence all devices and block out specific study time. So 10 hours uh, minimum per week of studying for that subject. So I have it at um, like 11 to 1 p.m. working on astronomy. Um, that's more so changing now to about 12 to 2 p.m. And that was 10 hours base, but then I thought, you know, I really should add in three more hours, make it 13 hours total um, per week. 
and then an option to do weekends. I think for sure it's important to do weekends, especially to add on extra um, problem solving. So I added one extra hour of astronomy three times per week. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday at around 4 p.m. This way I have the whole afternoon to sort of just relax, um, work on other content, work on like my own business, other things, work. And so, um, or to chill out to like, you know, go on a bike ride, do yoga, um, of course, eat. And so um, that's really what I focused on was that every day, Monday through Friday, I'm doing, I'm blocking out two hours and then um, three times for the week. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm blocking out an extra hour. So that's basically what I have set up right now. Um, as far as like where I'm at in the astronomy course, um, it's really actually the beginning. The course doesn't even start yet. Orientation is in two days. And I'm really um, enjoying kind of like reviewing just, yeah, a lot of stuff. It's mainly in the history section. So talking about like Ptolemy um, and a bunch of other um, astronomers in the beginning and learning about like parallax and how um, humans of early time really were able to calculate certain things um, of like, say, the size of Earth and the distance to the moon and stuff that was actually quite difficult. So that's where I'm currently at. Um, again, the, the astronomy course is more so fun, but the the math is what's a little bit more tough. So I have a whole separate math book, um, notebook, and then also the problem solving book. I would recommend for math, um, if you guys are working on that, get like a, a book that specifically has a ton of problem sets for you to work on because um, you can get them online and certainly do that too if you're more of a, a learner on the computer. But for me, I like to like really handwrite them and look at uh, a printed form of problem sets. So that is extremely helpful. And then turn to the answer key at the end every time I complete a page. If I have things that I got wrong, then I want to master those first, do a few more examples that are similar to that question. Like for instance, reviewing long division again and actually applying that algebraically. That was something that I'm currently working on. And well, I was over the weekend and I've mastered it, got the answers right for an, another five to 10 questions. Then I allowed myself to move into the next stage. So it's about mastering those initial steps and then moving into the next next part. So um, this will be the first video, I guess. Um, they're not gonna be edited. It's really just gonna be a quick five to 10 minute video um, that I'm probably gonna be posting this maybe like tonight or tomorrow. But I'm gonna get back to my astronomy class. So um, yeah, this is day one of um, going back to school. So as far as also the process I would, I, I'm gonna probably include, which is um, I'm having an application and applying back to school and everything I haven't done yet. And I gotta go through someone's at the door. Okay, bye.